I think it's safe to say that the dog days of summer are finally here. I just got off work and it is freaking hot outside. But in two months, less than two months, hunting season is going to start and I'm getting super excited about it. I'm going to be getting a lot of new gear coming in and out and uh, doing some unboxing for you guys. Let me know in the comments what do you guys want to see before season starts. What kind of teal hunting tips do you want to see on videos or what kind of dove hunting tips and tactics and duck season stuff. Let me know in the comments what kind of videos would be most helpful to you with hunting season coming up because I know a lot of people watch these videos who don't know a lot about hunting and they want to learn more so let me know down in the comments what type of videos you want to see in the future but today we're going to take a look at some new decoys from Volk Decoy Club which I'm really excited to take a look at them I still have them in the box we'll do an unboxing but I've seen some pictures of these and I knew they were coming for a long time and they're finally here, so I'm really excited. And they are the new full body mallards from Bulk Decoy Club. Now, I've got the hen and drake from the old full body mallards, and you know, they did the job. They weren't the prettiest decoys in the world, so like, here's the drake. You know, it's got some mud on it. I used them, killed ducks over them. They worked, they worked as decoys, but um, I never really cared for the head position on these. They looked a little silly. But, you know, for 140 bucks a dozen, they work out pretty good. So if you're just getting started and you want some full body ducks, throw them on the edge of a pond, um, put them in your field spread, they worked out pretty good. The colors on the hen, I wasn't super fond of, but nonetheless, these were decoys that did the job that they were supposed to do, killed a lot of ducks over them, and uh, crazy lightweight, which I really appreciated, because sometimes, I'd pack them into like a farm pond where I carry like a dozen floaters and like a dozen of these things and it worked out really well. And here are the stakes. They sit on little rubber topper stakes, come with sharpened points. I'll show you guys real quick. I know I've done videos on these. Same thing as the uh, full body geese. A little hole in there. You put it through, line it up. There it is. You pop it in there. The boom, your decoy doesn't go away. I usually leave the stakes in them, um, but I've got everything stored up in bags and out and put away, so I don't have stakes in them all the way. I would actually throw those in like a uh, floating decoy bag and carry them in like that, so made it really easy. But today we have the new and improved version, which I'm stoked. I can't wait to take a look at them. I hope they sent the new stakes in this as well. They've got plastic toppers for the stakes now, so. Uh, from time to time the rubber tops would pop off so hopefully the hard plastic tops at least I think they're hard plastic will not come off as easy holy smokes wow okay that's impressive so we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison between the two so, if I can get this thing out of the bag. First impressions here, just opening up the box, I'm impressed. It's got that new decoy smell. There is the hen. Look at that head. That looks so much better than the old ones. The paint is pretty similar. It's a, it's a darker color on there. But that hen looks a heck of a lot better than the old ones. Let's see. You guys can get this side by side comparison between these two full bodies. This one looks awesome. Got good color, got good detail, completely new carving, new paint. It looks awesome. Now, let's take a look at one of the drakes. If you guys are looking to pick up some of these, they are on the Bulk Decoy Club website. I'll leave a link in the description. They are on pre order right now and they will be shipping out early fall. And uh, you can get. 12 of these for $139.99 with free shipping. So it's a really good deal for those of you guys who are looking for a cheap alternative, getting some nice, good looking full body mallards. This Drake looks absolutely awesome. I love the carving on it and uh, the paint is unreal. Let's get that old Drake. Look at the, just look at the difference on the paint. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. This one's definitely got better feather details. The backs, like, this is a new one, this is the old one. They just look so much better. 
I am so stoked about these. Full body ducks. Do you need them? Not necessarily. Are they handy to have around? Yes, they are. Uh, I like to use full bodies in the field. If I'm hunting ducks in a cornfield or a bean field or something, I will put my Canada's out and then put spinners and then throw in a few dozen duck decoys just to give them some confidence. I have killed ducks in the field over just goose decoys and spinners, but spinners are key and having full body ducks definitely helps convince the mallards to come and work into that field. The Drake and Hen pair right here, these things look awesome. I really hope that there's steaks. I think I heard some steaks. And these are the new plastic tops. Wow. Take a look at that. So hopefully you can see it. So these are a plastic top now, and they're not rubber. Let's try and thread the needle real quick. Oh yeah, those things are solid. So stick it in the ground. They only come with field stakes. So um, if you do ever get into a place where you know the ground's too hard, these things just sit right on the ground too. So pretty versatile decoy. You can throw it on the edge of a pond in a field. I mean, that's the only places I use full body ducks. I don't know about you guys, but edges of ponds are really nice because I've noticed when I'm scouting ducks and finding what ponds they're going to, a lot of times they're not just hanging out in the center of the pond on the water. A lot of the times what they'll be doing is they'll be loafing on those ponds and hanging out on the edges and just chilling and resting all day long. So I like to add some full body ducks on the edges of ponds when I'm hunting ducks on ponds just to kind of mimic that and make it look a little bit more realistic as kind of a loafing area for them to where they're just kind of hanging out, sitting on the bank, baking in the sun. So comparing side by side the new and the old, the new ones just blew these ones out of the water and uh, they look awesome. But like I said, if you guys are looking to get some full body ducks, head over to Bulk Decoy Club and get you some good decoys. I feel like these are made a little bit sturdier than these. If you guys are curious, these are collapsible, so you can squish them down and stuff them in a decoy bag and just throw it on your backpack if you are using kind of like a floating decoy bag or a mesh decoy bag kind of thing. They'll fit in six, six slot bags and they'll go wherever you need them to go. So I am very impressed. Once again, Drake's new and old. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Do you think they did a good job on the paint job on these? I think it's a lot better than these ones, but um, man, even even like the body shape on them, they're not as like torpedo shaped. And uh, we used to always joke around that these these looked like turkeys, the old ones, because the heads they look like turkey heads. But nonetheless, big upgrade. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We just hit 86,000 subscribers, so that's really cool. Getting close to 100K, which I've got a feeling we'll probably hit it this next season. So really looking forward to that. That's a big milestone for me, and it's really exciting. And I can't thank you guys enough. So stay tuned to the channel. I'm looking at doing some more giveaways here pretty soon. Go follow the Flyways Collective. Follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. If you want one of these shirts or one of these hats, head over to my website, pick one up and help support the channel. And uh, I think that's all I've got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you on the next video.